Right, hello everyone. So, basically I'm in Character Creator 3, and what I'm going to do is show how to take a character from Character Creator 3, bring in an iClone, and then add a Mixamo animation to it. Um, so basically, once you like the character and the clothes and setup, you basically are going to export it out with send the character to iClone, which is right here. So, I made it real quick and easy so we don't have to wait. Um, we're going to send it to iClone which is here. So the character is here with no animations, no motions, nothing. Um, so the next step is going to Mixamo, which is Mixamo.com. So I'm already at this page here to save some time as well, but you need to set up a login. Um, basically, you can select any type of character. You can animate different animations, whatever you like. Just selecting them and it will change it for you. So, you use a uh, character with uh, armor on it basically, because that's kind of similar to what I'm going to be working with uh, later on, just to get the animation that I want. So, to do the next steps is, um, I'm going to be looking for something specific, which is um, animation called stand, stand up. That's what I'm looking for, something to say standing up. So I'm going to hit that, see what I can find. Now there's different props, uh, different animations. So you can see you can always do this one. That's not what I wanted. That's kind of a fight scene. Uh, how about this one here? This is getting up, laying down. I want to get something from laying down up completely on the back. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so this one's actually not completely laying down. Let's see if there's anything different. Okay, so here's one here. That's more what I'm looking for. Completely laying down, getting up, shaking his head, um, like if it went through a, a crash or something. So, kind of like the mirror effect because it's now more facing toward us. Just depends what you want. So, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to make this a little bit longer duration, so I'm going to slow down the consciousness a little bit. So getting out. See the arm's kind of protruding through there too, so I'm gonna change that a little bit. Even though the arm's gonna be different on my character, that looks better. Um, I'm also gonna slow this down too. I want this this animation to be a little bit longer overall. It's about 394 frames is what we're looking at. Alright, that's what I'm looking for right there. Alright. So now I can stop this. I'm going to download this whole file. I'm going to select uh, the FBX is what you need. You also need WizScan. That's not what works with uh, iClone uh, 3D Exchange. I'm going to go with 30 frames per second. I'm also going to do uh, no reduction, so none. So let's download that file. take a few seconds here all right now it's downloading again you can select any animation you want of course uh, they got tons and tons of animations that you can go to so here's my file I'm gonna save this out I'm just gonna show the folder I'm gonna take this file copy it I'm gonna go to um, my D drive to Put where all my motions are. So, under maximum motions. Go ahead and paste it right here. So, that's the last one I want. So, okay, that's pretty much it for that. So, now bring this down. Keep this one here. Bring this down. Bring this down. Alright, so here's the uh, 3D exchange. I'm going to bring it down a little bit so I can actually see the file. I'm going to just drag that in here. Make sure these are all selected. Say OK. What's doing this now is bringing the whole character in with bones. Say yes again. Alright, there's your character. So now you can bring this down. Bring this up. Alright, so that's that. So, let's see, so you got your root node, make sure that's selected. So you see, they got all the bones, fingers, hands, all the way down. 
You can actually hide the, um, just show the bones if you wanted to. Yeah, anyway, let me just keep going. So now what you're looking for is to make sure that animation came in. So here we go. We select that, see how he lays down, let's see how it looks. That looks good. It's coming out right, moving right. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. So it looks good. So once it's done. Alright, so next step is I need to convert this to a non-standard object. So I'm going to select, let's make sure it's selected. Convert. So once you hit this, it'll convert for you. So I basically went back to the minimum standard position. Added all the bones. Alright. So now let's do some testing to see how it looks. Hit the preview button. Of course that's not the animation you're going to be creating, but let's try some other ones. Basic run. See how that looks. That looks good. Preview. Alright, so everything looks good. So now we're going to convert this file. Convert. Say OK. That's pretty much all you need to do. Alright, so next step is, now that you've done all that, you can export out the animation. Hit File. Export. Um, if you want to bring over the geometry, that's one way to do it. Export geometry. I do not export geometry. I'm only exporting the bones. So I can add it to my character. So export animations when I have one selected. Um, it's pretty much set up where it needs to go. Say OK. Successful. Say OK. Turn this down. Now go back to iClone. And here, uh, we're going to go to Content, Animation, and then we're going to start looking for this file, Custom, so let's double select that, here's your character, drag it, put it on the character, there you go. That's simple. So, if this character was farther away. Alright, so let's see how it looks. Hit play. There you go. That's, that's basically the steps. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.